<coughs> so, Alibaba. Alibaba is a company that has been running in China like crazy for the last umpteen years. Uh, I don't know how long, but uh, it is registered in the Cayman Islands, and it is one of the highest grossing companies in the world. It has uh, it has an inroad to China. It is used in China a lot. It is basically Amazon, and it sells everything. It has something like 80% of the online business in China. Well, it's coming to the U.S. Uh, from what I understand, it, the stock price went up high, higher than a lot of people thought it should be, and it just took off from there. So, uh, the place is going crazy. <clears throat> At some point, people are, I don't know anybody who's, who's used it. I'm gonna wait, of course, I'm not the, I'm not the latest adopter of anything. I'm gonna wait until people People will use it and play with it, see what it's all about. Uh, there is one thing I don't hear anybody talking about that I've thought about that it just might help out uh, on the U.S. side. Right now, uh, for example, Apple iPhones and all the, all the Apple products are made in China. In order for there to be a fix or a if there's a dispute of some kind between quality or what have you, uh, the people from Apple have to go to China and get the manufacturer to fix the problem. So basically you have the seller going, has to go to the manufacturer. So you have an, an extra step in the middle. What I'm wondering is if this Alibaba site is, has enough pull with Chinese manufacturers to act as a better middleman uh, and for example say, well, you know, if you don't improve your, the quality of your output, we're going to buy from someone else. <laughs> and that's going to be an interesting step. It, it, it may actually bring the consumer in the U.S. half a step closer uh, to the manufacturer in China. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I, I'm curious if that will happen. So that's one thing I don't hear anybody talking about. I'm sure it's out there someplace. But uh, I, I, I'm all for competition. I don't think it's going to take over and kill Amazon and kill all the other eBay and all these other sites because it's, it's basically a combination between... Um, eBay and uh, Amazon. It basically handles a bunch of these different functions. They're also applying for a full-blown banking license in China itself so that they can finance things. Uh, they want to also be a uh, micro uh, finance site uh, so people can go there and ask for money and loans, that sort of thing. Uh, they also want to be like fundanything.com where people can go in and uh, ask for money and have other people support them or not. You know, basically vote with their wallet on whether or not something should be done, that kind of thing. I don't know if they're already doing that or if that's one of the things they plan on doing. But, <clears throat> but anyway, it's going to be very interesting to have something that's already, to have something come online that's, already, that's that established already and already has that much pull somewhere. Uh, it, it's going to be an interesting ride to see if Alibaba actually, actually pulls off. Remember, it's, it's not registered in China, it's registered in the Cayman Islands. That's another. That's, that's other than something else. And the guy, who, the guy who started it all is nuts. I forget his name, but uh, the guy is the guy is just batshit crazy. And uh, it, so you know, that's all, it. Almost takes somebody batshit crazy to start something that you know, that all encompassing, that that, uh, that powerful. Anyway, it should be an interesting ride.